right, it's the 5th, 6th, 7th, I think it's the 8th of February. It's bitterly cold and we've been invited by a good friend of mine, Steve, to have a day's pike fishing on the famous Essex Manor. And he suggested that we had it as like a bit of a pike match and it's certainly not my forte as I'm proving at the moment. So far, uh, Kev has caught one that was 19 pounds, 19 pounds seven ounces. Then John had one that was 15 pound and Steve's just had one just over 10 pound. It's still only early, it's well, so early, it's 11 o'clock. Sorry about the sniffing, I've got a stinking cold. Um, so I'm the only one yet to get off the mark. But it is done on weight, so I only need to catch one. If I catch one and it's a 20 pounder, not only will it be a personal best, but I will be in the lead. So fingers crossed. Um, yeah, apparently this is sort of bite time up to 12 o'clock, so. Um, still got another hour of normal bite time, but I think when it's overcast on this, we could, we could catch one at any time, you never know. I've tried a bit of spinning, but my fingers were too cold. So I've stuck the dead baits back out on the bottom and now I'm just sitting here and waiting. And uh, fingers crossed. Just a quick update, um, blooming freezing, my fingers are numb, <laughs> the nose is numb, um, it's bang on 12 o'clock and I'm pleased to say that I've caught one. So now we've all got one each and strangely enough the one I caught was the same one Kev caught earlier on. Kev's fish. Um, not just saying it because it's a match but it was actually <laughs> an ounce or two heavier but we're going to do the honourable thing and call it 19.7, the same weight that he called it at. Um, yeah, literally flicked a dead bait four or five feet in front of the swim, and it had obviously just come from his swim, eating some roach along the reed line. On a sneaky third rod. Yeah, it was a sneaky third rod, but they've kindly let me count it because I was banking. Match abandoned. And then literally, three, four minutes after that one, yep. um, Ben right panicked because he got off. one. <laughs> and I hooked another one, which, again, I know everyone always says this, but it felt bigger, it felt huge. It was um, a heavy fish, but unfortunately it came off on the way in. You can see some of it until John threw me camera on the floor. So that's where we're at at the moment. It is one apiece, but as we're going on weight, I am jointing the lead with Kev the Fireman. Get in there. And hopefully, we'll be back with more. Time for a tea. Time for a tea. Over the next 30 to 40 minutes, Steve lost the fish in the swim next door and John went on to catch another two. The first of which was this fish, which was nine pound four ounces and gave him the slightest of leads. But literally within 10 minutes of putting this one back, he caught another one which was 13 pounds. Meaning that Kev or I would need a fish of 19, 18, 19 pounds to take the lead on weight and Steve needed one of 26, 27 pounds, which is about the biggest one that uh, has been caught out of the lake, I think, so far. So pretty much John was out in front and home and dry. Right, we've got 10 minutes to go. We've moved swims for the last half an hour, hoping we could get one more bite, but it's not happened as yet. You never know. But it looks like John's walked away with it today. He's had three, and then on a total weight of 36 pound, I think. So I could still steal it with one fish, but it's looking less and less likely. Bleak. 
So hopefully we'll have a return match with these chaps at, um, at the quarry at some stage. And uh, we'll see you then. See you later. Cheers. Turn up.